Right, so on these early 03 six liters, the 03 to 04, the early 04s, they're a different setup than all the rest of them. They have these oil rails or the lines that go in the rails instead of having the rail up top with the, the feed tube and the dummy plug. These just have this steel braided line. And what I've always used is a tool that everybody has. It's just a air tool wrench for your die grinder. And you just put it in here and wiggle it back and forth. And then it just pops apart, just like so. So I never really did buy a special tool for these, but the other rail I've already done, I replaced the O-rings in it, but these have quite a bit of movement. The other one was worse and you could actually spin one of the cups. So that's gonna be a prone leak after we get all the new injectors in this. So to do it right, we're gonna replace the O-rings in these. So this is actually the special tool that it takes to get these cups out. Uh, you just slide it over the cup, you get it centered to where it goes down in there, get your socket and ratchet, and these are crazy tight. Okay. So when you get these out, you want to uh, make sure that the cups themselves are good. Unfortunately, we couldn't get cups on a shorthand notice, but we got the O-ring kit. Well, if you look at this one, let me grab a shop rag. If you look at this one, there's wear marks where the O-ring on the top of the injector rides. Well, we want to clean that up because it's got a little bit of a ridge on it. So we'll just take a little emery cloth here or scotch bright. And we'll clean that up and get it all smooth again. So it'll be a smooth surface on that O-ring so we don't have any tears on the O-ring. We want everything to be smooth and seal as tight as possible. So that's what it'll look like when it's done. So this is a six liter injector. These are Huey injection. So it takes high pressure oil that feeds in through the top and that's what runs through these cups. So at an idle, you're running five to 600 PSI oil pressure. So there's a lot of oil pressure there in this O-ring and same with the other one. So you wanna make sure everything is in its tolerances and everything's good. So with that being said, you got fuel that comes in here and oil comes in here and it discharges out the bottom. But you wanna make sure everything seats really good because that O-ring there and here have, have to mate really well. And it, the tighter and the better everything seals, the easier your six liter will start and the better it'll be in the long run. And you won't have hot no starts because if you get too big of a leak, it won't start when it's hot because you're not building enough oil pressure because the oil gets thin when it gets up to temperature. It works just like a hydraulic system. So here's the old O-ring that come out of the, uh, underneath where the cup goes. That's our old ones out of the other side. And you want to make sure that you get this o-ring in the in here first and get it seated in the bottom all the way so it doesn't get pushed halfway under so it's seated all the way in there now i want to take my cup and put it in there and then the uh, cap so you want to make sure it's in there lined up centered and get this in there and there isn't an actual torque spec that i've actually found for these because ford doesn't recommend replacing it they want to sell you the whole rail it's actually an aftermarket kit on getting the socket and the O-rings. So you just kind of have a feel for how tight you got them out. And that's about as tight as you put them back in there. So you just don't want it to leak. You don't want it to be too loose and you don't want it to be too tight, which I don't think you can get it too tight. You'll probably break the tool or strip it out before that'll happen. But you just snug it down pretty good. And that one's good. And then it's on to the next. Oh. Well, that one come out with it. Okay, inspect this. That one's got a little ridge on it too. They've all had a ridge so far. 
get these all cleaned up here. Right, that's cleaned up. Get our new O-ring here. Get it all pushed down in the hole. Set in there. And there's another one. They're not too bad to do. The newer oil rails, like I said, they're the same way. They're just a little bit different the way they bolt in. They got feed tubes and dummy plugs. But it is the same socket and the same style cups and O-rings. And that one's not as bad, but it's still got a little bit of a ridge on it. And if you were just resealing your, your oil cups like this, you'd want to make sure that the O-rings are good in the tops of the injectors. I know these are because they're all remands. I'll still double ins or inspect everything again. But if you're use reusing injectors and you just have a, one of these cups leaking, you want to make sure that the O-rings in the top of the injectors are good too. done that one's got a ridge too Hmm. I don't like this one. Got a neck in it? I still got a groove in it. That one there still got a little bit of a groove in it. I'm gonna see if I can find a good used one around here somewhere that I can uh, swap this out with because I don't trust that one. If you look real close at it, there's some pitting in there. Well, that pitting can cause a leak. If you get a little bit of a leak behind one of these O-rings, it'll end up being a major leak because you just up your pressure quite a bit because of the tiny size, just like the end of a nozzle on an injector. So that right there could become a major leak in the top of an injector. So I want to switch this out because it's not going to come clean. So I'll find another cup and we'll get this back up and going. I do have a spare six liter motor in the other building. So if it comes down to it, I'll just go rob one off my motor. But uh, I guess perks of having a bunch of used parts laying around for these.
I own two of them. All right, this here is an early model six liter oil supply setup. You do have a feed tube still, and then this is the tube that goes to your rail. Now the later models have what they call a feed tube and a dummy plug or branch tube assembly. This one supplies the oil to the head through these ports here, and this one's just a dummy plug for the other side because the oil rails can be mirrored on either side, so that's why they have two ports in them. So this one just blocks off where this one would go on the front. But uh, that's how that goes. And I've got a idea and a design for a six liter motor once, I'm hoping this winter I can get a mill and a lathe and I've got that spare block and a 7.3 block. I'm gonna remachine the six liter to house a high pressure oil pump in the front of it, just like a 7.3 has. And how the oil branch tubes are on a late model, I'm gonna basically mirror the rear to the front and make two sets of oil supply tubes to the rails so I can have two high pressure oil pumps so I can build some more horsepower that way. At least that's a thought I have for it.